Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry I can't be with you tonight. However, I couldn't completely miss the chance to take a moment to share some thoughts with all of you. The lesson I cherish the most is how important it is to love what you do. If you love what you do and it's making you happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. I once had a guidance counselor tell me that I shouldn't play basketball, uh, that it would never amount to anything for me. His negativity towards me made me stronger. You can't stop people from trying to limit your dreams, but you can stop it from becoming a reality. Your dreams are up to you. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard once you find it. So with that, I'll let you carry on with your evening. Please know I'm thinking of you, supporting you, and encouraging you always. Peace. What's up, everybody? This is DJ Miss Jessen, and you guys know what it is. You're here with the Red Kool-Aid Podcast, but let's get to this right quick. Uh, first of all, I'm here to pay my respects in the first half of this video to Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace to him and his beautiful daughter, Gigi. That was a sad um, accident that happened last Sunday with them on the helicopter. And also to the families that lost loved ones as well, my condolences to them, my prayers to them as well. This was for Kobe Bryant, though. He was a great guy, one of the best basketball players of all time. Top five, hands down. Don't argue with me. Um, very passionate about the game, very passionate about life, very passionate about anything that he was doing. We love Kobe, man, and we're just here to keep his legacy going, to keep him remembered, his daughter, keep her in our memory, you know, and just to keep the legacy going. Kobe was a good guy, and he always had great messages, and he always... Lended out his hand to help everyone, you know, teammates, their kids that wanted to get into sports or business or anything. He was just always that friend, a true friend who would reach out to these kids, not only just his friends' kids, but even kids in the community and his camps and just things he's done throughout his own whole entire life. Again, man, just condolences, but we're going to... Keep Kobe Bryant's name going forever. We'll also keep his daughter, Gigi, going, her memory alive forever. She was going to be a great basketball player. She was already a great basketball player. She was on her way to doing better and bigger things, you know, and he was going to help her do that, and he was going to make sure of it. It was a beautiful relationship between him and his daughter, you know. Again, sad tragedy. Um, it touched everybody. It touched all communities around, you know, the world, not just America, you know, not just um, the urban community, but everywhere. He touched people everywhere. This hurt everyone, and it's still hard to believe, you know. Um, and it, you get a little choked up when talking about it. But again, man, this is just, I don't want to just talk too long on it. I just wanted to show my respects to Kobe. Um, prayers to his family and Vanessa and the children and even his parents. I know... Um, he had other people that was around him that are just hurting, just like the rest of the world is. Again, you guys, let's just send our prayers out to his family and the other families who lost loved ones in this tragic accident. And I'm going to do a 24-second moment of silence for Kobe, and then we're going to get into the rest of our video. Thank you, guys. Rest in peace to Kobe. GG. And it's DJ Miss Jetson, and you're here with the Red Kool Aid Podcast YouTube. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I also appreciate all the love you guys have been showing to my channel and to the new subscribers. Thank you so much. I love you guys for doing that, and I see you and I appreciate you. Thank you. If you haven't already, I'd love if you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. To the new subscribers, thank you ahead of time for doing that. Love you as well for doing so. Let's get straight to it, though, you guys. Javante Davis. You guys probably have seen this clip already. If you haven't, you know, you just checked it out at the beginning of this. Javante Davis gets into it with his baby's mother, yanks her up out of the sea. Um, 
takes her out of the arena for whatever reasons they were arguing. We don't know. This clip just came online and we all saw it. Really, I'm just here to say this about it. First of all, I want to say I love Javante Davis as a boxer. I've actually been watching him for the last couple of years. He's coming up. He's getting pay-per-view fights. He's doing his thing. And I really like the kid. That is my whole point. My whole point is I like him. So when I saw this, I just kind of was like, no, I don't want to see this happen. Not Javante. I don't want to see him go down the road of a, and I hate to say this guy's name, um, Adrian Bronner, who I liked in the beginning of his career, but we started seeing him go down a certain path and just kind of mess up his career. And long story short with that one, but with Javante, I'm really, really, really rooting for him. That video, though, that surfaced online yesterday, that can't happen. I hope that Floyd or, you know, his OGs, his managers, anyone around him can kind of sit him down after seeing that. If it, Whether it's the first time they've seen it or they've seen it behind the scenes, no matter what, I hope they really sit him down. Tell him, look, go get maybe anger management counseling or whatever it is, but you can't be doing that. I don't care how angry you are. I don't care if it's your baby's mother. And I'm going to put up a clip here where he's actually saying uh, what happened. He basically said that that's his baby's mother. He didn't hit her, you know, and basically F January, the year started off bad. You guys see the clip there. Um, look. I just hope he gets help for that anger. Can't be doing that. He cannot be doing that. I do not want to see him ruin his career over not being able to control his anger. Because we've seen him get angry in other um, videos that have surfaced on the internet before. At people maybe taking pictures or invading his space. And you know, we're just like, well, you're invading this space and we can understand that. But hopefully people can get him to calm down, you know. But this one yesterday... That we can't see, that we can't have. And when I say we, I'm just talking in general. Like, we don't want to see you. I'm a fan. <laughs> it's all I'm saying is I'm a fan. I don't want to see him getting in trouble and, and, and throwing his career away over just not being able to handle his anger. Now, we all make mistakes, so we're not burying him for this. You know, just hopefully he gets the help and his OGs or whatever, managers, whoever, will sit him down, talk to him, tell him he can't be doing that, you know. And he starts to find another way to handle that type of situation. That's really all I'm going to say on the Javante Davis situation. Um, now, you guys know I can't leave the video without talking about Mr. AC, Aaron Carter himself. I'm just throwing this in there because it's funny to me. <laughs> what he's doing at this point is whatever. I just sit back. I tune in from time to time at this point because, again, like I said, last video is pretty much more of the same stuff with him. Not much has changed. He's kind of... I'm going to say calm down for the moment, but I think one of the things that is really sticking out is he's still, I'm going to use the word begging, and the only reason I'm saying the word begging is because it's like every probably five minutes, it's like hit the cash app, hit the cash app, hit the cash app, and that's the videos I'm going to show you guys at the end. One thing I want to say about Aaron Carter and his fans, though, I feel like that is like an abusive relationship that they have going on, him and the LMG. It's just like... If these guys aren't donating to him, he, and you guys are going to see this at the end of these clips, um, he'll turn the camera around, point it to the wall until somebody donates. Like, that's, that's abuse. Like, if you don't do what I want, I'm just going to put you in this corner. It's like an abused child. <laughs> an abusive relationship. Like, what do you mean I'm just going to turn this because you guys won't donate? I think that is the funniest thing in the world. That's really all I'm going to say about that. I got a couple of clips for you guys to check out because I know you guys love watching the Eric Carter saga. <laughs> so we're going to check out a few of those clips. Again, I just at this point think it's funny. I don't care what these. He always says, hey, they, the haters get mad and then they donate. His fans are donating. Be like, haha, this is for the haters. Look, it's your money. <laughs> You're the one who's going to be trying to count those bills at the end of the month. Like, man, if I wouldn't have gave Eric Carter that $100 every week for the uh, whole month of January, I might could pay my cable bill and my electricity bill. Look, it is what it is. It's your money. Who cares? I don't really care about that. Now, if you wanted a little bit of my advice, which I know you don't, but I'll give it to you quickly. If you want to really donate, donate to some real people who are actually outside and need the help and they don't have a house 
and cars and, you know, ways to actually go out and make money. You know, there's people out there to really donate to if your your pockets is itching, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, I would tell someone that I knew, hey, you better get out of that abusive relationship (laughs) because it's going to do you bad in the end. But at the end of the day, man, we about to, I'm not even going to hold you. We're going to get into these Aaron Carter clips. They're just some small clips of him pretty much doing what he does, asking for donations and putting his fans in timeout if they don't <laughs> if they don't uh, donate to him. Uh, it is what it is, though. It's the Red Cool Lake Podcast YouTube. I, again, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Also, before we go, it is Super Bowl Sunday. So I don't know who you guys are going for. We got Kansas City. We got the uh, 49ers, San Francisco for, I mean, uh, 49ers going head-to-head today. So that's going to be a great game today. You know what I'm saying? Drop down in the comments if you get this far into the video who you guys are rooting for, you know. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for my homes, though, Kansas City. My Giants are not there, so I'm going to go ahead and root for Kansas City, see what they do today. So I, go, I hope you guys enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday today. Um, and again, rest in peace to Kobe, to those families who have lost loved ones, and to... Um, his daughter, Gigi, you know, rest in peace. But let's get into this, these Aaron Carter clips, you guys. This is the Red Cool Lake Podcast. Peace. Look, even if you guys donate a dollar, whatever it is, you're donating to moi. Okay? You want to keep me on YouTube and social medias? Then you got to keep it flowing. You got to keep it going. You got to keep it separated. I donated, you're rude. I, I, sometimes I miss stuff. Putting you on timeout on my channel now, JJ. Next time you fucking act up, you're permanently getting banned. You heard? Permanent ban. Bye. Hasta la vega. Somebody donated a fucking sick amount on Cash App. This is a cash app. This is cash app Friday. New thing. So I'm going through some of my tracks. Uh, 